What is going on guys, this is your boy Kyle the Pug here, and today we are going to break down my official review and the thoughts on Call of Duty Infinite Warfare trailer. Now, I've noticed while I was watching the video that there were a bunch of dislikes more than likes on the video, and I can have an explanation and pretty good understanding on why that is the case. So, that being said, let's get into this review, review video and my thoughts on this whole, whole trailer overall. So... Let's start with the actual basics of the beginning of the trailer. So the trailer is like 3 minutes, 25 seconds. Just a basic, everyday, you know, Call of Duty trailer. So, I thought it was alright, though, from the style and graphics at first. I'm not saying, I'm not going to rip it entirely, because I said, like I said, there's going to be some positive aspects about the game. I mean, the campaign actually looks nice with the whole space combat and everything, but... I think what Infinity Ward's trying to do here is that I believe they're trying to follow in the footsteps of Advanced Warfare, and I can understand why people do not like the fact that they're actually, people are saying, oh, they're going to become sellouts, and they're going to be like, oh, no longer boots on the ground, they're going to have like moon jumping in space, and blah, 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 whatever. But, I mean, if you looked at it from like, you know, a couple years ago when Advanced Warfare came out, I mean, personally, I never played Advanced Warfare, but... You knew the even I knew this was coming before the um, whole no longer boots on the ground was actually a thing, but it basically it all started with advanced warfare and of course the whole situation with that is that of course Treyarch did it now Infinity War is going to do it follow the footsteps of Sledgehammer blah 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 but I mean like I said there are some positive looks to the game as I mentioned like the graphics look actually you know. It, it looked like any other PS4 graphics. I mean, you know, the planets-wise, it actually looks not too shabby. But the thing is, we don't know much about the multiplayer maps of what they're gonna, uh, of what it's gonna accomplish, of how they're gonna actually do it. Since it's kind of a, um, it's kind of a few ways away, I should say, from the actual multiplayer trailer. And like, and like I said, there is gonna be, actually no, I didn't say this in the video, but there is going to be a uh, beta for Infinite Warfare, so that way people can get a good glimpse of the, and an example of what of, uh, the uh, trailer is actually going to be. But, I mean, in all honesty, I mean, I really personally think that people could actually, should and would actually give this game a chance. I mean, people are ripping on it way too much, and I understand why they're ripping on it way too much, because... They don't like the whole space warfare thing or whatever. I mean, as long as we have, like, regular guns and not have, like, you know, laser guns like you would see, of course, in uh, a, a game called, you know, the Time Splitters Future Perfect. And if you guys don't know what that is, actually look it up. That's a little off topic. But anyways, um, like I said, hopefully there won't be any of the um, laser guns or anything like that. If there's, like, laser guns, and like, oh, my God, I don't know. What, I mean, there won't be any worth buying for me even buying this game for that matter. But, anyways, I mean, the whole, I think the whole good news about it is that everybody's excited for that. I did a poll, like, a few days ago, right, on Twitter, and what would, um, what would rather people play, you know, Infinite Warfare and, and, you know, Modern Warfare Remastered. So, I did the poll, right, and I wasn't really surprised by the results on the uh, poll on my Twitter page, and over 90% wanted to play the Modern Warfare Remastered, and this actually, like I said, this not shocked me whatsoever, because everybody wants this whole boots-on-the-ground situation, and they will do anything to play the old um, Call of Duties again. I mean, they'll, they'll go even... They'll, desperate, they'll probably chop their own leg off or something desperate like that, and it's kind of... I don't know how they're going to do it, but... Anyways, yeah, I mean... As for Modern Warfare Remastered, I never really played it personally because my first Call of Duty game was Black Ops and I never got into it because until a friend of mine actually um, helped me get into the game. But, I mean, with Modern Warfare Remastered, it's said to be one of the, uh, one of the best uh, Call of Duty games, like, multiplayer-wise, next to World of War and, of course, Black Ops. But, either way, it's... I actually want to give, you know, Modern Warfare a shot, you know, the remastered version. And like I said, never really uh, played it until Black Ops 1. I mean, I wanted to play it, but like I said, if somebody introduced me to it earlier, I probably would have been more experienced on it. But anyways, going back to it, Infinite Warfare, my uh, overall thoughts on the trailer, it, it wasn't bad, but the thing that got me, though, there was a point in the video where 
it's basically gonna involve thrust jumping in the campaign, and that's kind of what ticked a lot of people off. Is that they're gonna be, there's gonna be thrust jumping in campaign, and then you're gonna have these spaceships. And I mean, I mean, I mean, the idea. I mean, it sounds pretty cliche. I think they probably kind of ripped it off between you know Star Wars and Destiny. But I wouldn't say Destiny, but mostly Star Wars for that matter. But who am I to judge? You know, right? I'm not, I don't know how the game's gonna turn out. I mean. How do I know they're not going to be any laser guns for that matter? But I think I've already cut into that. But anyways, my overall thoughts on Infinite Warfare, like I said, people, I mean, give it a chance already. And if you don't like the game and if you don't feel like it's good for you when the game comes out, I mean, you can only, you can always take it back and, you know, sell it, like, to GameStop or go back to, like, maybe eBay or Craigslist or something and just give it to somebody who actually wants to play it most. I mean, overall... As I said, give it a chance, because you never know. You don't really knock it until you try it. And before I actually end this video, I just wanted to say that I actually had a couple of friends who actually uh, reviewed this video as well. And there was one person who actually uh, thought that the same thing as me, you know, give the game a chance, because you never know if you're actually going to knock the game by itself, you know, with Infinite Warfare and Space Combat. And then my other friend, who apparently I'll link both of theirs videos in the uh, description below here one was hey it's Nick and the other one of course with uh, Schmutz by other boy you can check his check this link out in the description below with his side of it oh my god it was probably one of the funniest things reviews I've ever seen in my life it's probably <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing because he was raging so hard about the trailer and I was just like oh my god this was so hilarious but <laughs> You have to watch the video to see for yourself. I mean, it's like two minutes long, but it's definitely worth checking out the two minutes. But <clears throat> anyways, yeah, I'm starting to get a little allergies here. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you guys did, please drop a like, and I will see you guys later in the next video. Have a good day, and as always, stay safe.